What's up, everybody? Welcome back here to another Infinite Galaxy content. I'm Shinchi42, and today in this video, we've got a new crew. Molly Mayer. Is she worth it? What's her abilities? What's the skill? Let's check this out. I am going to purchase Molly Mayer here in this video, and then we're going to try to determine is, is she worth purchasing for you? So the bundle cost about $9.00. $15 and $30. So this is about $54. Is it worth the money if you're trying to really, um, you know, get ahead of everybody here in Infinite Galaxy? You know, there's some crew that I don't invest on, all right? There's some crew that I really like, like um, Lara. I am a big, big fan of Lara. Let's go into my crew. And of course, Yi Ling Ding as well. Big fan of both crew. Honestly, those are the two that I'm really, really super into. And now I'm kind of getting into it. Bruno in here because of the Warship output, which is really good. Warship attack, 5.1%. And like I said, I have Lara as well in here, which is a very high level, actually. Um, let's take a look. Uh, advanced, it's almost to level 10. And we also have Yi Ling Ding, which is about level 7, going to level 8 soon. But this new crew... I am curious what she has for us. Molly Mayer. Let's go ahead and purchase this out. Let's go. All right. Now, guys, before we purchase this, I want to invite you to subscribe to our channel. Because if you are interested in Infinite Galaxy and um, you want to get those informations that whatever we're doing right now to give you ahead of time to see if it's worth it or not consider subscribing because we're creating regular infinite galaxy content and also also we are sponsored by infinite galaxy as well all right let's go and purchase molly mayer and of course if you like this video smash that thumbs up press that like button for analytics and let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite crew let's say let's say um you're gonna invest on one of those crew right who would you really invest on? Like solid. Like for me, it's always been Lara. Like I want to get Lara first, like max. Like if I see a Lara, I definitely buy that out. Now, let me know what is your favorite crew. Now, if you're not getting legendaries, maybe you're free to play or low spender and you're watching this just because you want to get information, that is absolutely cool. Oh, it does say here. Oh, I didn't realize that back then they weren't doing that. I think they start updating it now. It says um, skill HP of warship plus laser attack. I I forgot they they added this information. I don't think they had that before because yeah, I don't remember now. I have to look on some of my old videos. Ah, uh, okay. So we do know it's laser attack. So well, 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 it's nice, but we don't know the um the percentage of uh, how much do they give for percentage wise yeah see i kind of messed up there because i didn't read it right away so, uh, sorry but like i said we're gonna still buy it and we're gonna check it out and above all i'm like really curious on like how the animation looks like as well and yeah, i'm just really interested to see this um okay so here we go a little bit of a delay in here all right i think this is it for me for today all right so let's check this out all right, I had to do some verification there. Flagged my credit card. <laughs> Here we go. Is it worth it for you guys to purchase this? Let's check it out. We got some extra corium there. Let's go to crew. Let's summon this. Crew list. And data card. And here we go. All right, Molly Mayer. Let's recruit her. I swear to God, I thought there was going to be some animation, but there wasn't any animation at all. But this is Molly Mayer. Let's see. She is an engineer. Okay. So if your setup is primarily like more into engineer, um, I'm going to move out my advisor in here for now. And we're going to put uh, Molly in here. Oh, so I thought, uh, I guess for me, it's new. I've seen Molly Mayer before um yeah i've seen it with my uh other friends uh in the game because of this this reminds me of that that ball 
All right, we're going to assign her here. And what does she have? Warship structure, warship HP plus 1.9%, and warship build speed 1.7%. So I guess the captain is the laser. The captain would be laser then. So it's going to be laser weapon attack 21.7%. Not bad at level 10 though. Um, I guess, in my opinion, it's worth it in a sense of if you are going to use her for the warship build speed. But honestly, she is going to be worth it for being a captain. Like, she would be really, really good captain. I think this is going to be a very good pair for Hades. Uh, once I have my Hades to... Once I eventually get her to, like, level 10, then actually she'll be worth it from there. But in the beginning, um, she wouldn't be that much worth it, in my opinion, until she get level 10. But you kind of have to, like, try to get your luck to summon her. I've seen her before, actually. Now, I just didn't know what her name was. So there's that. Um, I don't think she is going to be into my battle crew because... She is not that good yet. I'm going to bring back Sen Wen Tao. And I'm going to assign it here. But she can definitely be into my development crew. Um, I need to make some changes. Hmm. I need to make some changes in here. I don't know. Uh, I need. She needs to be advisory. Ah, man. She is kind of worth it in a sense. Like, you know, if you can have that, you know, warship building speed a lot faster, you can produce more warship. But at the same time, I mean, eh, come on, the resources sometime, right? But, you know, you have to continuously build your warship regardless. So uh, it's really up to you. I might, I'm probably not going to use her yet until she's kind of high up or unless I open this third slot in here. I would rather have this development all resource output of 5.1% rather than the uh, faster uh, warship build. I guess if I'm trying to compete for Galaxy Star and trying to make uh, warship faster, then I would definitely use her for that. Um, but I, for me, for now, um, she is definitely going to be sitting out for now until I get her to a higher level. So... Um, I guess when it comes to being worth it, I wouldn't say she is the most worth it one to get right away. But if you're going to work on her consistently buying her, then she would be amazing. I've already been like, you know, getting, you know, what is it called? Like, I'm already too deep with Lara and I don't want to, um, you know, stop purchasing Lara. I think she'll be my main priority still uh, for Lara. By the way, a good tip for you guys. I don't know if they've changed it yet, but there was a male that they're going to remove Lara here. Um, so make sure that if you see this video and if you haven't purchased this VIP uh, one, two, three in here, you should go ahead and purchase it because they're going to change Lara there. Um, I think they said they're going to like put Artemis instead or something like that. So that's my tip for you guys. If you haven't purchased that, make sure you purchase that early on now. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't think she's that worth it yet. I think she's going to be a good uh, captain for Hades. But for now, I mean, I have a pretty strong Lara. I'm not going to replace Lara because I've got, you know, 126 flagship attack and then uh, 600 leadership uh, in here. But eventually, eventually, as I, you know, work on Molly, then definitely she's going to be a really good, uh, you know, a captain for a um, laser attack flagship. So maybe in the future, there's going to be another laser attack and then I can, you know, focus onto that. Um, type of um, captain so besides that guys uh, hopefully you guys uh, find this video to be helpful um, so if you guys haven't seen molly so some of you guys are maybe starting out into the new game and you don't know who molly is and this is good information for you guys so consider subscribing and definitely turn your notification on